Oops. Hey, yeah. So we're going to continue on to show you how to practice and sometimes play songs uh, together alongside with a metronome. It is, again, from my previous lessons, oh, I have emphasis so far, uh, metronome is your friend, uh, your guide, to give you a reference point of how to play uh, in time. Uh, if you're a beginner and you struggle with uh, timing, okay, you can't play things, you can't keep up with time, uh, a metronome would be a good uh, tool for you to use to help you or give you a reference point of where you should and when you should play place your strumming. For this example, I would use a metronome uh, to show you what to do. Uh, the details of how to use a metronome itself, I will show you on another clip uh, in this page itself. But just for this example, uh, I will show you how to use metronome and practice uh, alongside with the couple of chords that we have learned today. So I have with me a metronome uh, from the iPhone itself. And um, basically, let me set that up. You can hear the tick ticking or tick tock sound. And that will indicate how fast and how slow I should play. The faster the tick is, the faster I should play. The slower the tick is, the slower I should play. For starters, always start slow. When I say slow for metronome uh, purposes, start around uh, 60 or 70 um, to make sure that you give yourself enough time for your right hand, your left hand and your eye, whatever body parts that you need to concentrate and to learn all those mechanics and put them together. 60 and 70, uh, give that a try uh, to kick start off with. So for this ex exercise, I'll do 65. Okay, just smack in the middle and then I will use three chords for example two chords that we have learned on this lesson so far which is which is uh, the G chord the A chord and I will use uh, also one more chord which is the D chord that we have learned in the previous lesson which is lesson one to tie in with some exercise uh, it sounds well and with your strumming so let me start this off Hope you can hear from here. As you can tell, every first beat, the tone of the tick is different and is emphasized. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So what we will do is we'll change our chord. Okay, we progress to change our chord from one to another every time on the first count. Let me give you an example. Two, three, four. Yep, I struggle a bit to play even for with a metronome, and uh, that's a simple example of uh, practicing. Okay, the whole idea of practicing with the metronome again, as I say, to practice how to change in time. Okay, your left hand how to change from G to A to D or even to E minor. You can mix it around. Okay. G, D, don't need to start from G, A or D, you can start from D, put an A, change it to G, always change it on the first count, 1, 2, 3, 4, change, 2, 3, 4, change, 2, 3, 4, you can even uh, change after 2 bars instead of 1 bar, 1 bar is equivalent to 4 counts, so 1, 2, three, four is one bar, two, four, 
That's one bar. Two, three, four. Two bars. Two, three, four. So these are the musical uh, terminology that you would come across and people would talk to you and refer to you, what should you do when you play in a band. So something that you can pick up. So every one bar, okay, every four counts, say, then you will change a chord. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's no fixed way to uh, play the chord progression. All in all, what you need to do in this practice is to play in time according to the metronome itself and make sure your right hand and your left hand is sort of in sync. So when you play, and when you change the chord, there is no slowing down or speeding up in time. Give that a go. You can do it.